Hello student, this is Dr. Soumen Manna, your physiology teacher for Prebladder Dream Team Next. Today we are going to discuss how to study physiology for next examinations. Whether you require to change your strategy for examination or not, that we will be discussing today. So, all of you probably know that National Medical Commissions has published one draft in the month of December and they have asked for public opinion regarding the next examinations or national exit test examinations. The detailed versions of the draft has been circulated. Although we do not know that when this next exam is going to be introduced, but many of us are predicting that it may be introduced in 2023 only. So we have to gear up for next examinations. And in this examinations, whether I require to change my preparation for physiology subject that we are going to discuss, right? So first of all, let's discuss a little bit of next examinations pattern, right? So according to this draft, this next examinations obviously is a competitive examinations and this will be a licensing examinations means after passing the next examinations, the uh, persons will be eligible for medical practice in India. So this is a license for practicing medicines in India as well as the score of the next examinations will be your passport to entry to postgraduate medical courses like MD and MS. Okay. And National Medical Commissions also want to bring uniformity in the examinations patterns. That's why they had stolen in this draft clearly that the same examination has to be given by Indian medical graduate as well as foreign medical graduate. Means only one examinations. This examinations has to be clear by Indian medical graduate also as well as foreign medical graduate also. Right. So in this draft, NMC has told that the examinations will be conducted in two steps. Step number one and step number two. So looking at the draft, uh, many of us are thinking that the pattern of the examinations will be like that of the USMLE pattern, right? You are absolutely correct. That may be true or may not be. We do not know yet. But anyway, in steps one, you know that this is completely a theory exam. Okay. And this theoretical exam will be based on MCQ and the test will be conducted on a computer based test. The total six subject that has been given by NMC is medicine and allied subject, surgery and allied subject, obstetric and gynecology, pediatrics, otorhinolaryngology and ophthalmology. And the number of MCQs which will be asked from each of these subject has also been given. Now, if you look at this number of MCQs or number of questions and the time which has been given here, then you will be able to understand that the MCQ numbers are huge in comparison to current NEET exam, right? So that way you can easily understand that the examinations will be more thorough, examinations will be more deeper and the uh, volume of topics that will be covered up in the examinations will be more than that of current pattern. So this way you have to gear up a little bit more in regarding to this next examination, right? Okay. So in all of these six subject, uh, if you look at then uh, physiology subject name is not here. So you must be thinking that whether you should read physiology or the other pre and paraclinical subject or not. NMC has clearly documented in this draft that in each paper, 10% of the items will be asked from anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, pathology, pharmacology and forensic medicine relevant to the subject evaluated means medicine and allied subject. There will be 10% questions or maybe more than 10 also, okay, which will be asked from pre and paraclinical subject. Similarly, in each paper, 10% of the item will be asked which are pertinent to the public health and community medicine subject. So obviously you have to read pre and paraclinical subject, including physiology. You cannot skip it, 
right although the name of the main subject is not given as a paper but you have to read physiology right second thing you know in this draft it is given that 65 percent of the questions will be based on clinical case scenario right 25 percent questions will be comprehensive type and 10 percent questions will be recall type so you can easily understand that the mcq that will be asked in the examination next step one will be clinical based mcq mainly right problem based mcq problem solving type of mcq and recall based or single liner mcq will be lesser in number now after passing step number one you have to pass next step two also and next step two is a practical and viva voce examinations and here again the six subject has been given along with that another extra subject has been added here that is orthopedics and pmr right so this is the exam pattern currently given by the nmc draft although many things are not clear that whether the negative marking will be there or not okay how many mcqs will be there from each subject this has not been given detailed version will come soon but we have to prepare that if next exam is introduced how i should read physiology subject okay so again look back so in next step number one whenever you are attempting all these mcqs there will be a total score and that score marks will be taken into percentage and that percentage marks will be the passport to enter into pg courses like md and M ms courses if you want to enter this marks will determine that which subject you are going to get means basically this is going to replace the whole neat pg system so in this next pattern how should i read physiology okay but before that look at here the frequency of the exam okay there will be one exam regularly okay once in a year and supplementary exam will be there that is also once in the same year and the next two steps two that will also be conducted once in a year and again supplementary exam will be conducted once in a year and there is no restriction to the number of attempt to appear in the next step one provided that the candidate had passed both next step one and next step two examination within 10 years of joining the mbbs course okay there is no limitation to the attempt that they are saying here in the same thing no restriction to the next step two also okay now question is how i am going to read physiology so these are the questions that may arising in your mind that should i read physiology at all so all of you know that clear answer to this question is obviously you have to read should i read physiology obviously yes obviously because without understanding physiology you cannot understand medicine forget about that 10 percent of the questions will be asked from pre and paraclinical subject and i am 100 percent sure pure physiology questions will be given in that part also so you have to read physiology but you have to read more of clinical physiology more of applied physiology because you know the numerical or database questions in physiology will be lesser in number in next pattern right second thing should i change my pattern to study physiology answer to this question is yes you have to change your pattern of study a little bit okay the total subject the topic will remain same you have to read the same topic you have to understand the same topic but now you have to understand the concept of the topic so that you can answer the questions which will be asked based on the application of the topic means applied physiology clinical physiology you have to concentrate more right so that is the second thing third thing third questions should i read any extra book like usmle book or the regular textbook like genong or gaiton will be sufficient answer to these questions if you are following my lecture in preblader platform then there is no need to read extra book including the usmle textbook because before recording each lecture i have consulted the usmle books also 
whatever extra is there i have included those topics in my lecture so you don't have to worry you don't have to read any extra book even you don't have to read textbook also if you are following my lecture in the prime ladder platform and then last question which is here will it be difficult as compared to neat examinations mean particularly pertinent to physiology if you are asking me that whether the physiology questions will be difficult in comparison to neat what do you think answer is obviously a little bit difficult because now the questions will be application based practical questions right so you know in a medical education system uh, as a medical educator we use some objectives that what is the objectives of this questions what you want to ask from the students okay and this objectives or learning objectives is classified according to the bloom's taxonomy do you know this bloom's taxonomy okay so this bloom's taxonomy is, is nothing but this is the learning objectives from a students so first look at the base of this pyramid so whenever you are going from this base to the top the objectives become more and more difficult so first at the base you can find out the objective is remember so whenever i am teaching any topic or whenever i am asking any mcq from you my objective is whether the student is remembering the information or not recall base mcqs right so that is remembering second is understanding whenever i am asking any mcq i want to make make sure that whether the student has understand the concept or not right suppose i am asking how many num how many nephrons are there in kidney that is first remembering only number you have to remember but whenever i am asking that creatinine clearance is equal to measurement of which parameter then whether you have understood the concept or not i am asking understanding objective right then the next objective is the application of the knowledge whatever you have read whether you are able to whether you capable of applying those knowledge in the question or not that is the application apply right and more difficult objective is analyze whether you able to analyze the problem or not in this analysis section you know that compare contrast distinguish all this type of objectives will come out means whether you are able to distinguish between these two diseases or not whether you able to distinguish between these two symptoms or not that if this symptoms is present then there is a different disease and if this is not present then there is a different disease whether you able to analyze this comparison that is the objective of analyze and more higher order objectives is evaluate and create create means you know that is at the top of the pyramid that is the toughest objective that after understanding after applying everything whether you make a new or new uh, an instrument new object new pattern of diagnosis pattern or new objectives something like that so that is create so that is the toughest objectives in learning now why i am discussing this because you know in neat pattern of examinations mostly the questions are asked from this lower two objectives that whether you remember whether you understand although some of the questions will be from application analyze but i am not saying that absolutely no but most of the questions in the old pattern are from these two objectives but now the nmc is concentrating on more higher kind of objectives like whether the students are able to analyze the problem whether the students are able to apply the knowledge in the clinical setting that is the main objectives of national medical commission you know that's why they have introduced the combined medical education cbme pattern combined medical education system okay a few years back and now they are trying to change the examination pattern also that whether the indian medical graduate and foreign medical graduate whether they are able to apply the knowledge okay or analyze the concept or not so that's why whenever you are asking higher objective in the mcqs like analysis or application then mcq are going to be a little bit more difficult but don't worry i am here to help you in that 
so after understanding this that the exam pattern or the questions will be a little difficult the question arises are you prepared okay so if i am asking that whether you prepare for this new system or not obviously you have to take a little extra step and if you are asking me that sir are you prepared for this new system whether your lectures are prepared in this new system answer is absolutely yes i already told you that i have included the applied aspect of every topic that has been uh, recorded already right so we are prepared as a team in prep ladder now it is your turn that whether you want to learn with us or not and if you look at the question bank of prep ladder next edition right so prep ladder next ready question bank is also following this next pattern i'll so i'll show you some of the glimpses of the question bank here so this is the first question as you can see here a long history of a patient has been given right 35 year old patient comes to the pulmonary clinic so you can easily understand that this type of questions is going to be asked in the next examinations and then they will be asking some questions which is purely based on physiology principles okay and obviously options will be there maybe four maybe five we do not know exactly but anyway our question banks is ready with this kind of questions and in the answer sections not only we have discussed the correct solution but also we have also discussed the incorrect options also that why the other options are not the answer in this question that also has been discussed in detail in this question bank right similarly if you look at the second question this is the learning objective of the first question now if you look at the second question here again a long history okay genomic mechanism of hormone action refer to the regulation of so there is a long detailed question and at the end the question is purely based on physiology concept okay so this way the question banks has already been prepared and the detail answer correct option as the as well as the incorrect option has been discussed here so our question banks is also ready along with the video lecture now it is your turn to learn with arts and own your own dream so thank you so much for listening okay now if you are thinking that what will happen to the existing neat pg and fmg prebladder user you don't have to worry right neat pg and fmg aspirant do not have to worry as we will continue to provide the latest neat pg and fmg content on the app till the time it is relevant right so you don't have to worry okay thank you so much for listening subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder